For me, I had never, I had never counted the exact number of hours I should study because my approach was to set a weekly goal for me. Okay. Once I set a weekly goal, I have to achieve that goal. Suppose I, if it takes 10 hours, let it take 10 hours. But I have to achieve the goal I set for me. Okay. And what happens? One or two times I tried it that to set a timer for me to make a timetable and so that to measure the amount of time I am studying. Okay. But that went in the wrong way. That I, I. One day I thought I calculated it was 12 hours of study, but when I reviewed what amount I had studied, it was not even around three to four hours of study because my focus was on time instead of what I am studying. Okay. So my approach was always to focus on what you are studying. So for me, I used to make weekly goals. Okay. I had, I had weekly goals, which were set for me, which I could review with my teachers also because they might have experience from previous students and they know maybe I'm setting too much of a goal, which is not humanly possible. Maybe I'm setting too less. So. Once I set a goal and then I try, I have to achieve that goal. So if it takes too much time, if it takes more time, I'll study more. But my focus, if my focus is on a goal, then I will achieve it. So for me, hours, I would, I would suggest never count the hours. Always instead of quantity, go for the quality of study. That was my approach for study. Okay. So very good. So instead of being time bound, be concept bound. So if you understand the concept and if you enjoy the concept, nothing else. You can study even in half an hour also, that's not a problem. That's what Prakar is saying. Good. So the other part of this question was sometimes when I score less in a, uh, internal exams, whatever that phase test or chap test and all, so I lose my interest completely. I lose my focus and automatically I go into that stress mode and all. So how did you manage this? First of all, did you ever get less marks in a internal test, phase test or any chap test or something like that? Yes, sometimes I used to get less marks. Okay, less means how many? Which exam? It was, I don't remember the exact name, some were chapter test, some were phase test, like sometimes. Uh, less means approximately? How many marks? Marks, I don't, I don't remember the percentage. I, in terms of rank, it was not, not the first rank, it was a lower, a lower ranks. So lower means? Lower means sometimes five, six or even lesser oh. sometimes. So listen, five, six, he's saying that lower rank. How many of you agree 5-6 is a lower rank? So he says that rank 5 and rank 6 he used to get and it is on lower side. It's okay. not lower in terms of that. Okay. In terms of actually what, what I analyzed after getting a lower rank was it is good for me because very good. I had if I have a fifth rank in some test which means there is something I did wrong. Okay. So I get the chance to analyze what mistake I made. So whenever I used to get actually uh, if the first time it happened that I feel a little bad that why am I getting low ranks. But after that I realized that getting low rank was good for me. Yes. Because if I'm, if I'm getting, if I'm getting first time, if I'm getting 100% marks, then I don't know where, where should I improve. So for example, some test I got fifth rank. So I know, I analyze the test with my teachers and I know what mistakes I made. Very good. So there is, because there is always scope for improvement. You have to find where to improve. Excellent. So these were, so getting low marks was actually a good thing for me because it, I got to analyze where I can improve, what sometimes I'm making silly mistakes. So I know that I have to organize my rough work so that I don't make such silly mistakes. I don't write five as Y or something like that. So getting low is not a bad thing because it gives you the, the place to analyze what can you do better. So that was my approach. Even if I get low marks, to improve in the next test. So basically see the takeaway is whenever he scored less, he did not get disappointed. He did not get irritated. Rather than he analyzed where he went bad, well, bad or what was the mistake. And from there he started learning. That's a very, very important learning to all of us. So please, uh, Prakar, relax for some time because we'll be talking to others also and we'll come back to you. Thank you.